This is our Spring Apart Carts. It consists of two carts that roll across the table. Each cart has a mark to indicate where the position, starting position is. Each cart also has a spring-loaded um, stop on this side that we can hit with a hammer and propel our cart with some known velocity. And each cart has Velcro on the side so that when we do inelastic collisions, we can have them stick together and see how that affects collision. This demonstration, as you heard, illustrates different types of collisions. There are two basic types. There are elastic collisions where you have two objects that collide and after the collision they are still two separate objects and we will observe what happens when the mass of these objects are equal and then what happens when the mass of these objects are not equal while the while one cart is kept at rest and the other cart is propelled into it. Then there are inelastic collisions. Inelastic collisions are where two objects start apart and end together or where two objects start together and end apart like in an explosion. And we will observe both of these with also masses that are equal and masses that are not equal. To begin with, we're going to look at perfectly elastic collisions. So this is our equation for an elastic collision. And I told you we're going to have each of the masses equal, so I've set all of the ends to the same value. And I also told you that we are going to start with one cart stationary while the other cart is going to run into it. So to begin with, the momentum provided to our collision will all come from the first cart. So we're going to observe what happens after the collision. All right, so to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and give our first cart a velocity. And I'm going to set up the second cart in line with that first cart. And we're going to see what happens when each of these carts have the same mass. All right, in three, two, one. As you saw, the first cart was given a velocity. It struck the second cart and transferred all of its momentum to the third or to the second cart, leaving the first cart stationary. For our next elastic collision, we are now going to set our carts to unequal masses. So we'll have one cart that has 3m, and that'll be our second cart. And we are going to start our second cart initially at rest. And then our first cart, we are going to set just to m, which is the mass of the cart, and we are going to give that cart some velocity. And we are going to then set it off and see what happens after the collision. All right, in three, two, one. As you saw, there was some momentum transferred to the first cart because it made it across our table. But you also noticed that the first cart did not stop stationary where it struck the second cart, but actually had a little bit velocity in the opposite direction. The next one we're going to look at are inelastic collisions. So we're going to start out with our inelastic collision equation where we have the momentum of the first object plus the momentum of the second object is equal to the combined um, momentum of the object since it will end together. We're going to start with our second object at rest just like we have before. So to begin with, we're going to have only momentum provided by the first cart and we're going to see what happens after the two stick together. So first, I'm going to give our cart a set velocity. And again, the masses are equal. And we're going to set this in motion in three, two, one. As you saw, there was an initial velocity. They stuck together and then ended with a slower velocity than what the first cart began with. So let's see what happens when we differ the masses of our two carts. In particular, we're going to take our stationary cart and make it heavier than our cart providing the momentum. 
We're going to do 3M just like we did before. And we are going to give our first cart a set velocity. Line up our second cart. And we should observe a velocity that's even slower than the previous one, since there's again going to be even more mass that we end with together than again what, with what we started. We're going to have the same incoming, but a heavier total mass at the end, so it should be a slower velocity. All right, so here we go in three, two, one. And as you can see, it went much slower than the previous uh, collision. One final collision is now to show you what happens when the carps start together and end apart. So to begin with, we are going to have equal masses and then we are going to give them an initial momentum and see them fly apart. If they have equal masses, you should expect that the carts go off at the same velocity in opposite directions. So let's observe. In three, two, one. As you saw, they moved apart at about the same rate. If we then vary the mass of the second cart, give a velocity to our first cart, and repeat the experiment, you should see that the less massive cart should move at a higher velocity than the more massive cart after the collision. So let, er, let's observe. Three, two, one. And as you saw, that cart went much faster than the other one.